Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is EB and today we are going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft server on like the Dream SMP or on Hermitcraft. We're going to show you how to get data packs. We're going to show you how to get everything that you have like on the Dream SMP. This will only work for your actual local network. I will do a video hopefully next in the, my next video will have you ha I'll show you how to port forward it so any of your friends can join from down the street or anywhere in the world um, they could be in China and you could be in the US so uh, yeah so let's get started Okay, so first you're actually going to download a pack that I made. It's called the MC Server Starter Pack. You have everything you need in there for a proper Minecraft server. So you're going to open your favorite web browser. In this case, I'm going to use Firefox. And it's going to open up. I have to update it, so I'll be back when that's done. It'll be done, guys. And yeah, there we go. I'm just going to open a private window. Like this. Okay, so we're actually gonna first need to download it. Um, the link that you will have in the description, the first link will be this. Well, actually, the first link will be Java, so you're gonna need to download Java first. So just search Java in Google. Um, you're not gonna need the new version of Java for this, you're just gonna need Java 8, so which this is the normal version of Java. Just click on download here, and it should bring you to this page. I'll leave this as the first link in the description. And you have to check, um, what version of your computer is it is um if it's a uh, 64 bit then you can just click on this big red button if you it's 32 bit you have to go to see all java downloads and then windows and then it should be here one of these ones um but yeah you mostly have 30 uh 64 bits check you just gonna go to your start button even though if you have um windows 10 that's your start uh, button type in this PC if you're on Windows 10 like that or you want to type um, If you're on if you're on a uh, Windows 7 like me right click on computer then press properties right here and This will bring up the properties menu of your computer You want to leave this open because we're gonna need for a little bit uh, of some things later on as you can see I have 64 bit operating system most of you will have that anyways um, And I also have 16 gigabytes of RAM so um, once you're done that you also want to download 7-zip or if you have WinRAR or whatever, um, to um, so you can extract the pack. So just click on the first link. I'll also leave this at the set the second link in the description. And it's just taking a little while here, but here we go. Again, if you have 32-bit, then click on this one. If you have 64-bit, you click on this one. You press download. You press save file. It will get downloaded. You just run it, install. It's pretty simple. You know how you do this. Um, you should already have this installed. If you like have an actual computer um, but so now we're gonna actually copy this link well for me I'm gonna copy it you guys just could click on it in the description just press enter and it's opening now it's taking a little while because I'm in private mode so I'll cut to when it's done few moments later okay so here we go it's just loading now as you can see and it may say this or it may give you a little box whatever you do you just want to click on this download button here or this blue download button whichever one does the same thing you want to just click on that and it will bring a little um, box here and it will just appear like this or it will automatically start downloading and you want to click on save file if you have Firefox and press OK and then it's gonna download up here and then you want to open it in the file explorer as you can see I have mine right here I'm um, just going to go here because the username will be blurred out up there. And so this is the starter pack. I'm just going to move it to the desktop by right clicking, then hitting cut, and then going to my desktop like so. And minimize that. And we'll put it here. We'll click on paste. And there we go. Now, if you have 7-zip, you're going to right click 7-zip and then extract to Minecraft Vanilla Server Starter a Start Pack. Um, version 2.0 and it's gonna ask you for a password it's already made a little folder here move that right there and the password will be 0011 I'll leave that in the description so you can just copy and paste it and you just want to press enter 
and you can extract everything and you can go into the folder and as you can see you have two folders here MC server soft and shortcuts you're gonna move this ser MC server soft if you want to move it anywhere else or you can keep it on uh, in this folder I'm gonna keep it in here because it's um, a test um, this is just for like the YouTube video and then I'm gonna run mcss.exe and then that's gonna open up so here we go and as you can see it says no servers were found you just want to click on create and you want to make your server and now it's gonna ask you for any of these you basically these are the only options you actually just want to go to other then vanilla then press next and then it's gonna bring you to this now you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it YouTube um, hermitcraft Hermit craft like so and then uh, depending on how much RAM your system has we, which we can check in this window right here mine has 16 you could just um, like cut it in half well I would not say to cut it in half but I'd say to like like split in quarters which is what I did right here um, so yeah I'm gonna give it four gigabytes of RAM and you can just search this on um, the internet how much RAM to give it four gigabytes I know is four zero nine six like that as you can see and then server port that doesn't really matter um, um, it doesn't really matter if you have um, 25565 um, if you have multiple servers if you're gonna be running multiple servers at the same time um, on one and like computer then you want to change this for each server but since I'm only running one you can just leave it like that and you just want to click on the accept you want to accept the minecraft terms if you want to read them you just click on this link and it will open your web browser and then you know what, you just want to press next and then here you're going to get to this you're going to go to step one and you can click on create up up open updater tool and then you want to click on get bucket because that's like the safest option to do and this may open in google chrome yes i will actually just um cut that and move it to firefox because i want to use firefox like that and it's going to bring you to this web page and then you want to click on vanilla because you want to download vanilla and then here you can select the version of your server you can select 1.16.5 1.16.4 you get the point I'm gonna do 1.16.3 just because of compatibility and you're only going to be able to join on this version on your server because um, you need different plugins if you want to join on other versions so I'm gonna press download right here and it's gonna bring you to this page you're just gonna click on this uh, orange server jar link and it will ask you to save the file and as you can see it's downloading but if you um if it if you're using google chrome it may ask you to keep or discard the file you want to keep it it's not a virus um it cannot be a virus because this is a safe website as you can see it has a padlock and a security thingy um and then you want to go to your downloads you have the server.jar and here when you get to this um you just want to press next and then when it says here you can drop the file like that or you can select it manually most of you guys are going to select it manually and then here you're going to press on server.jar and then as you can see it's one file selected then just press next and then as you can see update complete press finish and then go back to this uh, step and then just click on create server and it's going to bring you to this it may say fail to fetch IP um, that's okay just press finish and then <clears throat> as you can see you have your server so what the first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings and then you want to change all your settings so since it's a minecraft um uh, smp i'm going to change difficulty to normal i'm going to be survival the view distance i don't know really what it does but that's okay you don't have to really change that um you can change whatever here you can enable flight you can enable hardcore if you wanted you can enable pvp um, and here for the thing, this is like under high pixel. I'll put a picture right now on the screen of it. It's like the little thingy underneath the user, uh, the name that you add when you're adding the server. So um, for that, you're gonna go back to the um, vanilla starter pack, and then you want to go to shortcuts. And as you can see here, you have an extra, uh, loads of extra things. You can download Seven Zip, but you're gonna go to Mot D, and I'm gonna open that in Firefox. So we're just gonna copy the URL from here just left click copy and then go to Firefox paste and go and it's gonna bring you to this website and here you're gonna change the name to what you want it to be so let's say I want it to be um, this 
server is uh, test 1.16.3 only like so and I'm gonna make this part bold underlined and I'm gonna make it red and then this part will just be green like that as you can see and it says two lines max so you can only have that many and then you want to do create the mod mod D and then it's gonna do that and then you just want to copy this or you can click on this button up here I'm just gonna do that you can see it says it's successfully copied and you're gonna go back to MC Serversoft you're gonna put it here where it says a Minecraft server like that and that's um, the code that it will change into what we uh, wrote here so it's gonna this is pretty sick and um, yeah so there's more things I can change right here um, here I'm gonna tell you what this does if you want cracked accounts to be able to join the server you want to um, uncheck this box so if you check this box and that means only people that have the real minecraft launcher can join not TL launcher or anything else I'm gonna uncheck that so I can let other players online uh, whitelisting we're gonna do that a little bit later since um, most SMPs in Hermitcraft have um, whitelist on in case someone gets the IP address and then um, yeah so this doesn't really matter um, player limit you can change the player limit I'm gonna change it to two players and then this doesn't really matter so you then you just want to press save as you can see it says you have unsaved settings like that and it says all settings save and you want to go to dashboard and then see where it says offline you click on that and you press start and it's gonna it may say unable to access the jar file vanilla.jar that's okay you just want to go to um, the vanilla starter pack again MC server soft and then when you're in here um, whatever it's named so my name YT Hermitcraft as you can see right here you want to go into that folder you can see the vanilla dot jar you want to copy that not cut it copy it this time go to servers yt hermitcraft and you just put it in here paste like that and then you want to go back to dashboard um, where it says offline click on start and this may lag my computer quite a lot because this takes a little um, bit of time so we're going to start it up and as you can see it's flashing green which means it's starting it's going to start the server right now um, so yeah Okay, so now it's just preparing, even though it says it's online, it's actually not online yet. So we're gonna wait a little bit. As you can see right here in this green, uh, dark green text, you actually wanna just go here, and in this little text box, you wanna just type stop, like so. No slashes, no nothing. Or you can go to dashboard online and click on stop do not do kill because that's very dangerous you can kill your server and it will not save the world so we're going to do stop as you can see it says stopping it's flashing red and now it says it's offline so on red okay so um once you've stopped your server you want to go to your file explorer you want to go to your white your where your server is so that's in the mc server sauce folder servers so servers and then uh, whatever the name is YT Hermitcraft in my case and then you want to go to server dot properties um, you can open this in whatever text editor I recommend notepad plus plus so if you want to download that you just search notepad plus plus like so in Google and then you want to click on the first link downloads notepad plus plus and make sure you don't want to get the Hong Kong version you actually want to get the normal per version which in this case this is the re latest release at the time of this recording so I'm gonna click on that and as you can see you do not want to download the 32-bit version unless you have a 32-bit computer I have a 64-bit as I've already said two times in this video so we're gonna go down to download 64-bit and then click on installer and that will download the install you just have to install it you press save file you know what to do here I'm going to cancel it because I already have it installed and once you're done that you want to right click on uh, the file properties and then opens with you want to click on change and then you want to select notepad plus plus from this menu um, so then it will open automatically notepad plus plus so we're going to open it right here and you want to look for server IP it should be a blank thing it shouldn't have a zero or anything it's right here as you can see and you can there's loads of ch settings you can change right here um, but the most important server IP and then you're going to go to um, the vanilla starter pack shortcuts and then IP config I'm gonna to have to blur out quite a lot of information here but uh, my main adapter is local area connection for you could be other ones 
um, you can have Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Make sure that the one that you're on is um, what you're using. So let's say you're using Wi-Fi, you're connected through Wi-Fi. Make sure you get the IP version four address. So that's in this case 192.168.1.11 for you, for me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is right click and then click on Mark, and then you wanna select that as you can see right here. And then just press Enter, okay? And that's gonna copy that into your clipboard. So now you're gonna go back to Notepad++ and you're gonna paste it right here. But as you can see, there's a space here. So I wanna get rid of the space, otherwise it'll think it's space 192.168.1.11. So um, once that's all done, you can just save the file. So you can go up to File and Save, or you can just press Save, whichever one you prefer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna close um, Notepad++. So you're not gonna need it. You're gonna close on Command Prompt if you want. Um, you can just close it normally. And now you, what you want to do is you want to get um, if you're for, if you're doing a normal Dream SMP, um, you actually want to get the icon of your server first. So we're gonna search up. Um, let's think of Minecraft server icon, okay? And then let's go to images. Let's have a look. Um, let's see which one looks nice. Let's just do this Ender Pearl one. And what I'm gonna right click on it and then save image as or for yeah, it's actually gonna be the same thing for you Google Chrome users. And I'm gonna download it to the desktop. As you can see, it's a JPEG file. That's okay. Um, I want to open that and save it. As you can see, it's done. But um, for Minecraft servers, you actually need a 64 by 64 image and it has to be PNG. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it and then go to Open with um, right here. Then do Choose Default Program. Okay. Then you're gonna select Paint and then uncheck this box because you don't want it to open always in Paint. And then press OK, and this will open it in Paint, as you can see. And then you're going to go up to Select. And you're going to select it, just like so, um, like that. And then once you have it selected, you want to click on Crop up here, and then you want to go to Resize, Pixels, and then uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. Go here and then type 64. Uh, for horizontal and 64 for vertical and that's the right um, Image size for Minecraft servers. So then you're gonna press ok as you can see it's made nice and small now the background I don't I'm not sure if um, that will actually be transparent. You need Photoshop as Most experts say but I'm not exactly sure about that um, So we're gonna go to up to this menu or for Windows 10 users It's gonna say file and you want to go to save as and then PNG picture and then you want to save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it to desktop, and I'm, na I'm naming. I have to name it something very important. Server dash icon like that. Okay, that's how you want to name it. Exactly that spelling. Otherwise, it will not work. Then you want to press enter, and it's going to be saved. If it says size down here, then you know it's saved. You can close out of Paint, and here we go. There's server dot dash icon dot png. We can delete this old one. We can just move it to the trash can like that. So now we can move that into the um, MC ServerSoft servers and whatever server name. And then you're just going to move it in here with that server-icon.png. And um, so that's all you need if you want to make an, like a SMP server like the Dream SMP. I will show you how to connect to it right now. So I'm going to just empty that. And then open MC ServerSoft and start the server. And you may see the things that were last time, as you can see, it says stopping server. So to just get rid of that, you right click anywhere and then clear, click on clear console like so. And now it's going to say everything that you do now. So, yeah. Okay. So now, as you can see, it says done. It's the server's ready for anybody to join on your local network. So I'm going to use TL launcher in this case, because that's where my main account is. And uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for this to load up. Make sure you have uh, whatever version you want, but make sure it's the version that you selected on the website from the uh, before. So it, in this case, it was 1.16.3. So I'm just going to use Optifine with that. And um, yeah, we're just going to log into the game and we're going to wait.
Okay, so once you're in the menu, you want to click on multiplayer, and then you're going to add whatever server. So I'm going to add server. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it test SMP, like that. And then server address, you want to do um, you want to do the IP address that you did earlier. So you can just control V and it should pop up. Remember to take the space out. And then you want to do uh, a colon. So that's the two little dots on top of each other. And then the port that you selected earlier. So that for me and most of you guys, it will be 25565, like that press done and there you go we have our ender pearl and it has this is a test server 1.60.3 only only two players can join it's perfect so you can join on and as you can see we're online um in a second now and here we go i'm on i'm online and the server is completely working it's a little bit lagging because i'm recording and have the server running at the same time for me i'm just going to change a couple of controls right here so there we go it's working it's the uh, it's not laggy at all as you can see it's not like astronaut servers you can break blocks and you can break blocks as you can see the only reason it's lagging for me is because i'm recording but it should be completely fully 60 fps you, you can swim you can do whatever you want on the server it's perfect and you can see i'm just going to swim to this side and now if you want to get up um this is pretty simple you just i'm just going to place and i'm going to leave my minecraft i'm going to go back to mc server soft um if it says this message then that's a kind of okay it's okay um but then you want to go here and you want to type up and then your username so that's in my case it's steve 100 2020 like that and as you can see it says mace steve 100 2020 server up operator stop making please please stop making that much noise okay i'm, I'm running away i can't stand that sheep um but now we have game mode creative, so you can do game mode creative, do scoreboard, ob objectives, add health, and then oh, health, like that, and then you can do scoreboard, objective set display list, health, and now you can see you can have your health, but I just have to take a bit of damage to make my health work, and uh, yeah, so it's perfect. So now I'm going to show you how to make a server like Hermitcraft. We're going to type slash stop in the chat, or you can stop it from your um, MC server soft. And then it's going to say server closed. That's okay. And we're going to go back to our MC server soft. As you can see, the server's offline. And you're going to go to um, the vanilla starter pack folder, shortcuts, and then vanilla tweaks. You're going to go to this website. It's going to bring you to here. Um, it's just taking a little while, so it's loading in Google Chrome. I'm gonna copy that, close out of there, put it back in Firefox, like that. And here you can choose, make sure it's on 1.16 or whatever version your server's on. I'm gonna choose um, AFK display, graves, multiplayer sleep. Um, and that's kind of it for here. And then I'm gonna go to items, player head drops. Uh, mobs I want to do more mob heads and mm, that's kind of it here teleportation I want back TPA homes and spawn uh, utilities I want custom villager shops and that's kind of it hermitcraft I want um, wandering traders hermitcraft edition and that's kind of it here and then experimental I want timber and then as you can see you have all of these and then you just press download it'll download them all in one pack we're going to save file of course as you can see it's finished we're going to open that in our downloads folder and right it's right here we're going to right click 7-zip extract to vanilla twa uh, tweaks and in here you're going to have all of these files you're going to select them all Control a or just select them all right click and then cut and then you want to go back to your shortcuts folder go back to uh, starter the starter pack MC server soft servers and the server name then uh, it should be world and then data packs and then you can pop them all in here like that and then um, you're done with Firefox for now close all the tabs and yes yeah, so that's really it we just press start and we start the server again <laughs> Okay, as you can see, it says done. We're going to go back to Minecraft. We're going to press refresh. And here's our server. We're going to join the server again. And we're going to join where we left off. We're going to go into survival. Oh. 
Um, we actually need op for this, and then you want to do slash data pack list. And as you can see, those are all the data packs that we downloaded. Or you can do disable. And you can see all the ones that we downloaded. They're all there. You go. That's all the data packs. Now we're gonna go to game mode survival and show you a little bit of gameplay. And remember, only people on your network can join. So that means, let's say you have a friend that's somewhere else in the world. Um, they cannot join, even if they put the IP address in, they, it will not work. So we're going to punch down the tree here. Uh, I don't think timber works with your uh, fist, but it will work with the axe. So I'm just going to get some stone tools. <laughs> Okay, a crafting table and see we have these big trees also this is a seed if you want to play I will not leave that in the description or unless I can copy it oh yeah I copied it I'm just gonna leave it here a little bit later on like that and that's the seed if you want to come and play on this world there we go it's chopped down the whole tree and it will give you slap saplings apples everything that it would normally give you or if you have a custom crafts or something like that enabled it will give you that let's try to get a mob head here we're gonna Loads of mob heads, or actually, let's summon in some villagers because I know they give a lot of mob heads. <coughs> Come back here, Mr. Villager. I'm gonna kill you. How is he not dead yet? Come back. Where, where, where is he gone? Oh, I can hear him. I can hear his ha. Huh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I cannot find him, guys. Oh, here we go. <coughs> dead. There we go, so as you can see, I got his unemployed. Okay, so once you're done, um, if you get this pop-up, just click on exit out of MCSS, close out of that, and close out of that, and that's how you do it. So, yeah, um, villager head. So, we're going to end it off right now, right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next video, I'll show you how to port forward this Minecraft server. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below any more ideas if you have any more. Um, subscribe for more of these videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.